It is 10 years now since Wu Guanglin, a 35-year-old drug squad officer, was gunned down by traffickers on that cold night. For Wu's wife, every good memory is permanently engraved in her heart. I was a school teacher before we got married. I see the image of him when he cycled to my school and talked to me. I felt I was really happy, but just felt the time we were together was too short. Wu Guanglin's sudden death left an unhealed pain for Xiu Ping and her child. Wu Guanglin was the deputy commander of the Narcotics Criminal Investigation Brigade of Fengqing County Police Station. Fengqing County was a major channel for traffickers shipping drugs from the Golden Triangle, one of Asia's two main drug-producing areas. In Wu's 12-year career of investigating traffickers, he and his team arrested 275 suspects and seized heroin worth 4 million yuan. All these years, I felt that he's not that far away from me. Sometimes he appears in my dreams, but then I know he's not with us after all. But I've always kept him in my mind, especially when my child was young. I really wished he was here with us. Now, Xiu Ping is a police officer herself. Before China's first Mother's Day, we traveled hundreds of kilometers with her back to their former home in Fengqing County, burning incense for her hero. A mother and a wife united in grief. A decade after Wu died, one of his comrades from the gunfight says drug squad officers are proud of what they do. Every year during Spring Festival, many police are out on duty. I never regret choosing this as my career. As long as we work hard and uphold professional ethics, we will keep tens of thousands of homes happy and safe. I'm very proud to be in the drug squad. 55 narcotics police have been killed on duty in Yunnan province since 1979. At this martyr's monument, a white lily for her late husband. Xiu Ping says she wants to start a new life, not forgetting him, but keeping him in her heart for the rest of her life. Each of those narcotics forces have their own unforgettable stories. Here at this mother's monument, we salute and show our great respect to those young, brave hearts who fearlessly fought drug smugglers and lost their young lives for a more peaceful society. On China's first Mother's Day, we should give our esteem to those national heroes and let them always be remembered by future generations. Liu Yang, CCTV, Yunnan Province.